In this episode, I'm going to give you two huge crappie fishing tips that's going to help you find more brush piles at any lake. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's go do it. Okay, the first tip that I'm going to give you today, this is a map that you can get for almost any lake out there. It's called the Fishing Hotspot Map, and I'm going to put a link to it at the bottom of this page. This map is awesome and I'll show it to you real quick. It really teaches you and shows you where fish like to hang out on a lake. If you know where they like to hang out, that's probably a good spot to go look for brush piles in the lake. Tip number two is actually the Fishity app, the F-I-S-H-I-D-Y.com. What happened is the Fishing Hotspot guys and Fishity got together and they decided to incorporate the Fishing Hotspots into the Fishity app. $9.99 a month, but also what it allows you to do, it allows other people to mark brush piles on the lake so you can go, so you can go fish those brush piles as well. I mean, that's awesome. So if you're driving around on the lake, you see a fishing hot spot, and then you're driving around, you're looking for brush piles, and all of a sudden, boom, you find one, right? And let's say you want to share that with other people. You want to show other people where this brush pile is so they can go fish it too. So you can actually go on there, and you can mark that spot, and then anyone with a fishity subscription can actually go see your hot spot and go catch it. And you can put information on there like what kind of jigs you were using, um, how deep they were, all kinds of information. Isn't that great? And I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. So right here is what the Fishity app looks like right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna click on it and open it up. So I'm gonna type in Grand Lake and hit the go button. And then right there, Grand Lake of the Cherokees. Boom. So I'm gonna hit that. And as you can see, there are 610 structures that are marked. There are 1,296 followers. There's 63 hot spots. So then if you hit view map right here. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right here. Right here is Shangri-La. And this right here is spots that people have marked on here. This is people that have paid for a subscription to Fishity. They have went down here and they have marked these spots and said, here's where brush piles are. Here's where you can go fish for crappie. How awesome is that? I mean, this is awesome. This is public information. All you got to do is get you a, a subscription and you're good to go. This right here is Honey Creek. Here's some spots marked right here. All you do is click on it. Two features found. Let's see what it is. White crappie. White crappie spots right here. This guy marked caught a white crappie. Look at that. How cool is that? So this right here is Shangri-La. Here's some brush piles marked right here. Uh, here's a fishing hot spot right here that it talks about. Uh, you go along here. Here's a fishing hot spot. There's a fishing hot spot. So this is an awesome thing. I want to encourage you guys to go get this. It's awesome information. Uh, people, uh, people share this. Here's a fishing hot spot. Here's a fishing hot spot. There's Terra Miranda. Uh, you can go all the way up. There's there's Sailboat Bridge. Everybody knows Sailboat Bridge is a good space to good spot to fish. So this is really good information. Uh, I'll put the the link to Fishy on the bottom of this video as well, uh, so you can go find that. As well, I've also made a couple other videos where I've built the brush piles myself and given you the exact coordinates on Grand Lake. If you missed those videos, I'm gonna put those over here to the side so you can go check those out. Make sure you do, they're great locations. So that's the two tips for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. Go get the fishing hotspot map. Again, I'm gonna put the link to it at the bottom. Also, go out there, if you have an iPhone or an Android, go get the Fishity app and start marking some brush piles, start sharing them, or just pay your subscription and find these other brush piles that people have already marked and go fish it. It's awesome. Also, you won't be catching any beer at these locations, I promise. Nothing but crappie, but hey, I do enjoy one of these once in a while. Have a good day, guys.